right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being the, depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. The Lioness Amanda Nunes. Grace is the proving ground this time. She wants to leave with the belt. All right, so the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in the big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda, the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Holly the Preacher's Daughter, Paul! Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. All right, here we go. As big a women's fight as we can put on paper, it shall be done here. Amanda Nunes versus Holly Holm. This fight was mandatory. Holly Holm, a multiple-time boxing world champion, UFC champion, one of the greatest combat athletes of all time, fights Amanda Nunes, who is the first female two-division champion in UFC history. This is going to be an explosive night. Nice combination of kicks by her there. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Holly Holm. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Effective punch from the clinch there by Holm. Went for the inside leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, she's trying to connect on the overhand left. Not there. The uppercut flails and misses. Oh, strong kick by her there. 
She closes the distance and gets a single collar count. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just over three minutes to go. He's got that single collar in the clinch now. Nice crack there. Oh, nice elbow. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, how good is that left hand? While her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly. Oh, another one. Nunez is I now closing up. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. She missed with that jab. Just over two minutes, round one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Home going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Landed that one. She gets to the single collar time. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Nunez gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. And there you go. Again, half guard. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. Nicely done. Big ground and pound. Great shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Under a minute to go. So Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Relax, relax. Keep your Ooh, big shot lands. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh, and she is attacking it effectively. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice punch from the clinch by Holt. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal oh. knee to the body. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. All right, five minutes down. Here we go. Round ready, two. Fight. Holly Holm. Ready. And on the other side, go. the Lioness, Amanda Nunes. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. She nearly got the knockout in the previous round. Now she'll try to close the show. She has to find the right shot, find that kill shot. Don't rush. Pick your shots. It will present itself. When it does, jump on and get your night in. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. 
free flowage, it is very difficult to deal with. Tries to work it into a takedown. Ah, oh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. She got that single collar tie. And Nunez's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Strong hook lands. Just missed with the elbow there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. That right thigh really starting to show some bruising. Mm, nice. And now she has her back. Three minutes. On to the mouth. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. In the half guard. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Nunes is back in full mount. Job by her there, the bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Arm triangle attempt by her here. Arm triangle. Ooh, is that locked in? It's very tight. She's in trouble. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grapple, they love a good stand-up fight. Lands another strike there. She's got it going on tonight, and the swelling on her opponent's starting to get pretty bad now. It's getting, it's getting bad. I mean, she's got to address it. She's got to change something up. Maybe shoot for a takedown. You cannot stay upright with this lady. She's too good in the stand-up. Ninety seconds to go in round two. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Leg kick checked by Holly Holm. It's broken, I think. Just unable to quite find that range. Nunez gets yet another takedown. Oh, and she's back up again. Good straight hand there by Holly Holm. Well, not at all the way she drew it up, DC, and you can just tell by her body language, she's still rattled by that knockdown. She got knocked down bad, and it's gonna be hard for her to build back into this fight. Oh! Oh, she's hurt, yep. Down defense holds up. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, nice. 20 seconds to go round two. And now a hip kick to boot. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, that hook landed for him. to digest from that one. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. 
All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? Great fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice kick there by Hall. Oh! She's got her in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Massive head kick. Oh! Oh! Massive right for Nunes now. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. The kick is there to the body. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Well, this is one of the more... Maybe seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's going to finish tonight. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so Nunez's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, she got that gorgeous knee to find that midsection. I'm not sure how many more of those you want to eat. You cannot take many of these strikes. Great job finding a weakness in exploit. Well, she ain't confident, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense holds up. Huge knee lands from close. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Nice takedown defense. Oh, she cracked her up top there out of the clinch. Hands high, hands high. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. 117 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. And in terms of the accuracy rate, 41% tonight against Holly Holm. to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. Go after, go after, finish it, finish it. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. All right, so her calf now starting to show some real signs of bruising, DC. And that only works because her lead leg is her opponent's lead. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing.
Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh! Oh, my goodness. You heard her again. Zai appears to be closing up by the second. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round. And she got knocked down. Didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough. But let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing himself for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next big minutes. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she... She is such a diverse fighter that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Single leg takedown, well played. Nice pass. Good work from the top here by Nunes. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Now she gains some separation. As she evades, that's it. Way high in the air. She slips that left hand there. Nunez is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, Superman! Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power over in this big battle. She lands, and she lands very effectively. Under three minutes to go in round four. Nice, nicely done. Oh! Another one! Oh, big uppercut for her there. Man, her thigh is like a new shade of purple right now, almost magenta. That's gonna be a dead leg before me. She's taking too many. She's taking too many leg kicks. She's gonna have to do something to try and change it. Maybe a stance switch or something will help her stay in this fight. Two minutes to go in the round. All right, take your time. Take your time. Relax. Breathe. Well, no surprise, she attempts another takedown here. Pretty good entry, but not good enough. She knows that if she continues to throw a chip, right, keep throwing things at the wall, eventually something's going to stick, and she understands that it only takes one for her to really take control of the fight. Nunez is able to land the strike right there and continuing to make things difficult for the opposition. The nose is already damaged, and that strike ain't gonna help matters. Great job getting to a position right into that single collar time. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. Well, Holmes trying to make that eye swell shut, DC, as you see the fighter continuing to land strikes and target that eye that is already pretty severely swollen. 
Oh, Superman punch. Well, we wondered a lot earlier about their tickers. Who would dig deep? They both had, and they have given us one of the better fights in this division all year. They've given us an instant classic. Both of these women have laid it all out on the line. They're beat, they're battered every time they go to the corner. We wonder if anyone's gonna quit. Neither one does. They come right back out and they continue to go at each other. It's been so fun. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Holm. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Uh -huh. Horn sounds uh -huh. for the end of round four. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. Well, well, no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. She wasn't moving her head, and she is now paying for it. Her opponent now will be even more aggressive in her approach to try and advance the damage to her nose that she's already dealing with. You ready to fight? You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Nice leg kick there by Nunes. Not there. she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard... Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Nunes. And she misses with the left punch there. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. And she caught the kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, it sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. Well, she's got to do something. You are not going to win this fight if you let it go to the judges. Nunez's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. She got that single collar tie. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Keep that pressure. Give me some good oh, man, that calf is getting critical. It's hard for me to look at as a commentator. She can barely stand up. She can barely walk. I mean, she is as tough as they come. She tried the poker face, but now the poker face ain't enough. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to stop this fight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. 
It got checked. Work, work, come on. 90 seconds now to go in this one. All right, so here we go down the stretch. Final minute, one of the best fights of the year. Unless, of course, like Dominic Cruz, maybe you like defense. These women have gone at it from moment one, and these fans are richer for it. I mean, they told us that this would be one of the best fights we've ever seen. We looked at the matchup and thought, wow, this could be good. Very rarely does it exceed our expectations. This fight has exceeded the expectation. Nunez is able to transition back to side control now. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. And she gets back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get upright. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. All right, well, it wasn't easy, that's for sure, and it never is when you're taking on number one contenders left and right, but a championship effort out of the incumbent team. You saw her championship heart shine through in this fight. She was pushed on so many levels tonight, and she showed that not only is she one of the best champions we have, she is definitely one of the toughest champions we have in the entire UFC. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so another big win in a career full of them for the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. A lot of people buried her several years ago, but she...